Jesus is blaming the Pharisees and scribes for not practicing what they preach. Jesus says it very clearly, we are called to give life to our words. It is said that practice what you preach or change your speech. Dear friends, today as we reflect upon the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 23, verses 1 to 12, we see Jesus is blaming the Pharisees and scribes for not practicing what they preach. Jesus says it very clearly, we are called to give life to our words. When we go through the life of Mahalma Gandhi, the father of our nation, he did not preach so many words, but through his very life, he was able to communicate to the people and his message was loud and clear. Today we have crowds of people who closely imitate, imitate the Christ because for them, Christ's words and deeds were perfectly matching. Today, the whole world is waiting for us or counting on us to know whether we are able to give life to our words. Dear friends, history remembers the people who gave life to the words. One day we too will become part of the history. We need to be remembered and we need to stay in the hearts of the people. Jesus says, I have come to give life, life in its fullness. If we want to give life in its fullness, we need to give life to our words. In the life of Job, the suffering son, he practiced faith in his suffering. In the moments of his suffering and struggle, he practiced the faith and he lived his faith. So friends, let us be the people who gives life to our words. Amen.